Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so again, my name is Amish Tari. I'm the uh, event coach for Crash Car Expert. I've been doing this about, I think, I believe eight or nine years now. So, uh, you know, it's it's an exciting event and hopefully the kids will love it. Uh, you know, so with just a quick raise of hands, right? Can you give me an idea of for how many folks is this a repeat event or have done this event in past? So I can probably, you know, have a little better understanding. OK, so I only see one person raising their hand to you. Uh, probably if you don't mind, keep your hands raised so that I know. OK, so there are not many people. I would say probably four or five folks that have on the repeat. So uh, great. I mean, it's going to be uh, Absolutely a fun event, but I do want to go over some of the stuff, so I'm going to quickly share them out my desktop here. And I mean, if I jump in real quick, yeah, can everybody turn their cameras off so that we our recorded session is more presentable, please? And then you can turn it on when you have a question. All right, thank you. Thanks for that reminder, Manish. Uh, so again, I'm just going to quickly share. Uh, I'm going to go start with some of the basics. Uh, so how many of the folks have seen this event in past? If the with the raise of hands, if you can let me know. Or or had there, you know, uh, somebody else that had participated and you got to see the event. OK, so probably not many. Uh, OK, so. So this is kind of a building event, right? Uh, uh, unlike the other events where you really learn, study, read, and kind of give a you know written thing, right? So there are some events that are building events. So this is a building event. So uh, one of the first things I would like to uh, again remind you, maybe you may already be aware, there's a Macomb Science Olympiad site, and there is an uh, if you go into elementary, all the events are listed here. What I would like to to, to give you an idea is, you know, this is a crash car expert event, which will take you to the page. Uh, it has everything you need. will walk you through some of the uh, stuff here, but you know, there are a lot of study guides here, training videos, which are pretty important. Uh, along with what you have here is a lot of FAQs, right? Uh, in past uh, seven, eight years, you know, we have collected a lot of FAQs. It's already there. Go over if you can't find anything. I would highly recommend, uh, you know, click here and ask any questions. And I usually reply within 24 to 48 hours, right? Even earlier. But again, just so, uh, you, you know, you if you have any clarifications that you need to make, uh, feel free you know, come here, but I would highly even encourage you to see these videos, which actually, uh, you know, tells you what the event is about and how it's been executed. Uh, so I'm just going to go over quickly some rules, right, from from the car, crash car expert, right? Uh, so so couple couple things. Generally, here's what happens when the when the event time there are two two times usually it's allocated. One is a build time and one is an uh, ramp time. What build time means is we will give all the materials uh, and the and and the kids, the, you know, the team that comes in will basically build it. There will be a 20 minutes build time and it's going to be a 15 minutes ramp time. But to begin with, we'll give them 20 minutes to build the structure. And once the structure is built, uh, we'll we'll tell them to will during the uh, event we will we'll instruct them you know the logistics of it to go and put it on the side and nobody touches it once the build is completely done uh, you know uh, you will uh, give be given a, either a time or an open where you can just come and run your uh, run your structure now even though it says 15 minutes uh, it's all dependent on how much uh, how many structures so, oh, I mean, basically how many ramps you run through. So usually there are three ramps uh, at a different angle uh, and, you know, anywhere between zero to 60. Uh, and I'll, I'll uh, give you just an idea, right? 
as to I don't set anything less than 35 uh, at a 35 degrees angle, right, for the ramps. So think of it as it could be 40, 50, 60, or 40, 55, uh, 40, 45, and 55, whatever, right? So, but it will be three different ramps, and they will need to run all three ramps if uh, with the rules in there. And I'll go over that in a minute here. Uh, so from a material perspective, you uh, you require pine car. So when you come to the event, you will be provided all the materials. Everything that you need will be provided. You do need to bring in scissors, pliers, uh, or or and and a pen. Pen pencil is is a kind of mandatory because they have to write it down on the sheet that we give them for scoring as to this team name and school name and stuff like that. Uh, but absolutely, you can bring in pliers and scissors. No other tools are allowed. Uh, during the event. We want to make sure uh, and, and these are some of the experience from the past, right? Where uh, they, they forget we don't we generally don't have any spares. So if they forget, they will not be able to build it. So make sure they have their scissors and pliers with them to build the structure there. Uh, again, uh, you know, you will be given the pine car and you will be given the materials required to build the, the structure. Now, this is a list of total list of materials, right? That is potentially going to be there. Now, you know, the day of the event, it will not be known before that, but during the day of the event, we will let you know how much is being excluded from this, right? So not necessarily everything you see that's highlighted, you will get it. Now, there will be up to three items that could be uh, excluded during the event. So I may say, uh, you know, let's say cotton balls or paper clips and bicycle cards are excluded and everything else should be in your package. Uh, now, the quantities can be very so instead of, you know, I may I may come out and say I will give you two cotton balls, uh, two cards and uh, three paper clips, right? Or I may completely eliminate all those three items. Uh, but that will not be known until you come for the event. So that's that's an unknown piece. So I would highly encourage when you practice, practice with multiple variables. Now, one thing that is never eliminated or omitted is going to be the bag, the brown bag that we put all the material in. That will never be omitted and that will always be uh, of, you know, uh, for the kids to build with. Uh, so eggs, we provide large grade A eggs, right? That will be provided during the event or when they're building the structure. The first thing we will provide them eggs. There are uh, two different, uh, I mean, we can provide up to two eggs per team. So one is a driver and one is a passenger. And I'll, I'll go in a bit also, what does this driver and passenger really means? And and like I said, uh, once you watch a video, you'll have a little better idea if you've not already watched it. Um, so uh, again, we will provide you the eggs. You don't need to bring the eggs. One of the common things that I have seen uh, is the team breaks the egg even before uh, they run it or while building it, right? We give them 20 minutes to build a structure. And I've seen so many times the eggs, you know, it's just playing with the egg or something happens and drops and uh, and things like that. And it, it breaks and we do not uh, provide a second set of eggs. So just to be cautious there, I've seen in past where kids bring in shoes, uh, they bring in half cotton, like a six egg cotton of, uh, you know that carton so they can store their eggs and make it secure so i think that's that's pretty important because uh, if the eggs are broken they will not be able to run the ramp right uh, which will uh, not be fun for them and i would highly encourage you to uh, keep that in mind when uh, uh, you know working working with the team to uh, you know uh, while you're training with the team right so uh, that's pretty important there uh, we, we will be giving, like I said, two eggs. One is a driver egg and one is a passenger egg. Uh, so the driver egg is your primary egg. Passenger egg is an optional egg. If you say I don't need a passenger egg, perfectly fine. 
but we have to give you the driver egg. So there has to be one egg that's in the structure while running the ramp. Oh, uh, there are points associated with the passenger eggs. So if you run, you do get additional points. But for any reason, if the uh, egg you know breaks during the uh, or leaks during the running the ramp, I think that's going to mark as even negative, right? So the decision has to be made during. Uh, or, or even in your practice, right? You may want to look at, you know, based on how you're building a structure, what would be the best scenario? Do you want to run with one egg, two eggs? How many ramps you can run with one egg or two eggs, right? So one egg is mandatory for all three ramps if you go through all three ramps, but the second egg, right, which is a passenger egg, is you can say I want to run only ramp one and my egg is, egg is pretty damaged. If I try to run on a second ramp, uh, it may break and I don't want to take that risk, right? So there are there are a lot of options when you're running a passenger egg, but with the driver egg, uh, you don't have, you have to run with it. Uh, you, like, like I mentioned earlier, you can bring two pairs of scissors, rulers, pencils, and a pair of pliers. Uh, you, you are allowed, that's all you are allowed during the event and you don't need to bring anything else. Uh, now, Mish. yeah, go ahead. Real quick, there are two questions. Can wire okay. cutters be used? And the second question is, can kids bring in a plastic egg to use as a placeholder when they are building? So, so the so the first question is, uh, can wire cutters? They are yep. kind of a pliers, so yes, you could use that. But remember, you can only use uh, <coughs> uh, you can only bring two pliers, right? So you can use. You know, you can bring one wire cutter, one wire plier, or you know, either way. So should be good there. Now the second question, yes, absolutely. Uh, you can use a plastic egg and put your egg in there as far as it fits in. We are good. Uh, you know, you can't run with that plastic egg. Uh, just so you're aware, you have to take out your real egg from your plastic egg. But absolutely, in order to store it and secure it, you you can bring your uh, plastic egg with you. And and great questions. Thanks, Manish. Uh, and, and feel free, uh, you know, drop in questions here later. Uh, you know, no worries at all. Uh, the struct, the, the uh, one of the big piece in this one is a free fall, right? So, uh, you know, when you, you know, the the let's say you finish building the the structure. Now you come for running the ramp and. We will instruct you go, you know, we'll have volunteers and other folks that's going to help and we will have our ramp set up and they will run. They'll go to the first ramp. They'll have yeah, their eggs in the structure and now they're running the ramp. Uh, at that point, once they run it, they cannot take the egg out with their hands and show us it's fine. They will have to bring the structure to us and the egg. You know, I, I, I wish, sorry, I should have turned on my camera just so I can. Uh, show you a little better on the uh, what I mean, right? Uh, so let's say you build a structure, and when you come, you can't just say, "I want to take my egg out of the structure." It got to be a free flow. So they will have to invert the structure and take it out. What I've seen is while that inverting, the eggs drop and it breaks. So I would really, really recommend they wear some uh, uh, nice little, you know, shirt where they can, you know, like. You can just hold on like this, so the egg drops in you in your shirt or a t-shirt, and it does not break or does not drop on the ground, right? Uh, now, generally, when inverting, sometimes the egg is a little bit more stuck inside based on your structure. When you're doing that, I'll give you a couple times to wiggle it, right, and see if you can take out the egg. But if it's you know, if I give you like two, three times, and you know, you wiggle it and it doesn't come out, I will not uh, allow you to take put your hands in and take it out and it's kind of marked as a, as a broken egg right so just so you're aware that you know don't try to stuff stuff over your egg that egg is now fixed in hard and now even after wiggling it's not coming out so make sure when you're building a structure keeping in mind the egg when it comes out has to be a free flow i just cannot take it out out there uh, so that's that's pretty important uh, moving moving on uh, so when building the structure, one of the key thing, right, is there should be nothing touching the ramp, uh, touching the wheels or the ramp. 
what that basically means when you're building a structure and when you're tying things around, you got to make sure there's nothing touching the wheels that will slow down the car or it's touching the ramp where, you know, again, it's slowing down, right? So we, we want to make sure that everything is tightened up. So in many cases, it's happened where they basically, you know, have things lingering around or uh, or it's it's, you know, touching the wheels what we generally do is give them a two minutes now that two minutes uh, to fix it and come back and show us everything is good now that two minutes does get added to your total time right and and we'll go to the scoring part in a minute here but remember that two minutes get added so if you think you completed your structure in five minutes now you for some reason it was not done properly, we had to send you back at that point that five minutes goes to a seven minutes and and you know. Based on the rules, right? The time is also the factor in what uh, uh, you know. Uh, in terms of you know, if, if you go, you know, first, you know, whatever, first, second, third and you know, depending on on the scores also, right? So but that does does it's not necessarily, a, you know, uh, it could also be a tiebreaker where you run all three ramps. Somebody runs all three ramps. They had two eggs. You had two eggs, but your time was seven minutes, eight seconds versus their time was five minutes, you know, and now obviously you could have done it better by not taking that penalty. So again, those are some of the things you may want to uh, practice during your practice time, making sure that there are nothing touching the wheels, nothing touching the ramp, and so that you don't spend additional two minutes added to your score. Uh, again, you will give given 20 minutes, uh, and and you know it, it varies from events. Uh, so your your local event, uh, you know, probably depending on you know where you are in Chippewa Valley or uh, Macomb, right? I mean, the the fact being is, uh, we do have you know 20. 20 minutes allocated and then we ask you to come build the ramp some you know run the ramp sorry while running the ramp there are some events local events uh, that may say hey you know uh, they give you a time right because of the other events and conflicts and stuff so they will give you a particular time uh, but in the final event what happens is there are two times we give to build so let's say we if we have a build time of nine o'clock right the teams that's been allocated at nine o'clock will run from nine to nine twenty. At nine thirty, there's another set of uh, teams that come in, and they run from nine thirty to nine forty. And let's say you know, and th those may be the two two times we give, right? And we may do three times, we may do you know two times depending on that. But after the build of all all the teams are completed, we will start the running the ramp. Uh, most of the time, we don't give the time. And we say, hey, you know, we are here from 10 to 2 or 10 to 3, or whatever the time is, right? Uh, in that scenario, you can come anytime. So I would highly encourage, uh, and generally what I was seeing is people just started lining up and there will be a line of, you know, 40 teams, right? And uh, and now you have to wait two hours to run your uh, structure, right? And I, I would always advise, hey, look, if the line is shorter, get in. If not, just don't worry, come back. We are not. We're not going until you run the ramp, right? So we'll make sure, you know, if the time is from nine to two until two, we are there to run the ramp. And you know, usually the last couple hours is is the easiest one because, you know, we, we finish it off quicker uh, in the beginning. All right. So said all that. I think uh, trying to see what are some of the other important things that we need to. Uh, okay. So I want to make sure I get to the the way the points works, right? So here, here is your driver egg and the passenger egg. Like I said, driver egg has to be given and has to be ran with your structure. Every time you run, you get 100 points. There are no negative marking in it. But if you decide to run a passenger egg, which is optional, and if it you know runs fine, you get 55 points. But if it breaks or bleeds, you could get negative pointing uh, marking too. So making making sure what you want to run with. So, uh, you know, I have seen every variety and I'll tell you last few years. Teams have run all three ramps with 
both the eggs successfully, right? And getting the most points. And there is, I would say, at least five teams that are run now. The, the big piece comes in the time, which kind of the tiebreaker, but obviously, uh, you know, it's a big piece there where now you're saying, I completed in three minutes or some, somebody completed in four minutes, right? Now the two minutes, if you start adding those two minutes for penalties, that will impact your overall minutes from tiebreaker perspective. So that's very important for you to know uh, on how, how your know, scoring is done here. Uh, so when I say broke, broken egg, what that means is it doesn't have to be completely broken, right? Every time they free flow, they take it out and they roll it over on a on on a uh, you know white tissue right that will if it's even leaking if i see it gets wet and if it's even leaking you are still penalized and the bra uh, and the egg is considered broken so it's not like it's completely broken or anything but even while they roll and i see there is a, a leak in there it's considered broken so just be aware uh, uh, from that from that perspective uh OK, I'm trying to see. So these are the rules. I, I any. Oh, there's a question here. When building yeah. the ramp is the portion. The car runs on sanded, smooth, painted or just left out. So the ramps are provided by us. No, no. That's, the ramps are made of uh, yeah. pine wood. They are not necessarily fine sanded or varnished or anything. They are just raw wood. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, just to be yep. clear, because this never came up in the last year and it's not the list of approved items. We can bring a plastic egg during the competition for building and then switch it to the real egg. No, 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 no. So so let let's let let me clarify that. You know, my understanding is when you say plastic egg. Right, it's kind of an egg where you open it up and put your real egg inside. You can bring plastic egg that you're going to run for building or or for any competition. The eggs will be provided from us, right? So the egg, the 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 plastic egg, if you bring, is purely and purely for storing your real eggs if you want to do that way. But you cannot bring a plastic egg and say, "I'll take the egg later when my time comes to run." No. We give the eggs the same time we give all the materials, so it's your and the team's responsibility to make sure that you secure your real egg that we give you. Does that help Laura to clarify? OK, I believe so. OK, if, if not, please feel free. OK, perfect. Thank you, Laura. Uh, any other questions? So everything will be provided to you, even the pine car. Now, for practice, uh, I am sure you're aware. If you're not, you could uh, basically go purchase it from the from the Macomb site, right? Which actually works better. Or you can go to Walmart and get everything you need except the pine car. Right, you can get all the materials from Walmart. No issues. What works better is just getting a kit. And if you decide, hey, you want a kit for 10 practice builds or 20 practice builds, you have multiple options there. So feel free and probably the uh, munition or, or somebody else can help you with the procurement of those uh, build because we, we kind of build it and give you. So now, you know, you'll have Four cotton balls multiplied by 10, so you'll have 10, 40 cotton balls, right? So you have a lot of uh, room to practice there. Uh, and moving on, I'm going to try this uh, video. This one, because I think this is the most common question I get. Let me know, Manish, if you can hear it. Can you hear that, Manish? Or no, no sound. Okay, okay. Give me one second. I'll, I'll. I actually may have not done that. Uh, let me go. Okay, give me one more second here, and I'm through. 
part of that have to do with the phrase in the rules about probably not right because I'm wearing a headset. Sorry, forgot. Uh, but again, I would highly encourage you to uh, use these videos. Uh, I, I do want to Students show you removing the egg by allowed to touch their egg and their car. So this is important. Students piece. remove the egg, their egg and their car. This is important piece there. Students remove the egg from the car. They place it on a paper towel and roll it around. So so this piece where it shows to take the egg out, that's exactly how you will be able to take the egg out and not by putting your hand to take it out. While putting in, you can definitely put in no issues at all. Uh, any questions so far? Let me make sure there are no questions here. Oh, somebody said we can hear it. So were you able to hear the sound on the computer? Yeah, the last time I heard the sound. The originally oh. when you asked first time, I couldn't hear. Oh, got you. Okay. So Most of the questions the about crash cars you know. that have to do with the phrase in the rules about students removing the egg by inverting the car. We get questions like, can it be rotated sideways? Can it be flipped backwards? Can it be shaken? Don't overthink this. It's really very simple. The objective is to keep teams from building a structure where the egg is nestled in a cocoon that has to be open to remove the egg. Before so, your team so this, this was pretty important, right? Where we have seen teams just closing from both the sides. There is no way you can take the egg, right? Oh, and you completely kind of last, you know, from from the points of the tournament perspective, right? Because now, you know, your egg is going to start broken even before you started the ramp. It's their first drop. They place their car in a short section of ramp to make sure there's nothing dragging on the ramp to slow the car so down. So here's another piece when they complete, when they come for the running the ramp, this is one of the things they have to come to, uh, uh, to the inspection table and make sure there's nothing touching the ramp like here. If you see, right, nothing is touching the ramp, but if they had this touching the ramp or this thread touching the wheels, right, I would definitely have, I will give them two minutes violation penalty, which means two minutes gets added and they will have to go. You know, even if it's just a quick cut, does not matter. It's still two minutes to be fair to all the teams. If there is a problem, the team has two minutes to correct it. Our event supervisor is very experienced, and he's a great guy. He wants the kids to be successful and have fun. After they've driven down the ramp, the team carries their car over to the judge's table. Students are the only ones allowed to touch their egg and their car. The students remove the egg from the car. They place it on a paper towel and roll it around to prove there is no bleeding. Gentle shake is acceptable. Even if there's a visible crack in the shell, it's a survivor if there's no detectable leakage. Moving the egg is an important thing for a team to practice. Some teams develop creative strategies to prevent a catastrophic accident. All right, so hopefully this video, video helped a little bit here. Uh, and, and there was a question, so I'm going to repeat it for folks if you don't see in the chat. Uh, when using the passenger egg, will we also have to dump them out at the same time to show they are not locked in or broken? <coughs> so my, so the big piece is, yes, you'll have to take both the eggs, but does not have to be in any order, right? So you don't have to take both the eggs out together. So you had one egg and then you had a piece in between and then you had a second egg. Right. Obviously, you know, uh, you took out your first egg and the piece may fall out and then you take out your second egg, whichever, you know, way you want driver, passenger, whichever first or you have both the eggs coming out. It's entirely up to a build. One thing I want to remind you uh, when taking the eggs out, anything that comes out from the structure remains out. You cannot go back and fix the structure which means let's say you had a cotton that was 
stop, you know, uh, helping to stop your, your, you know, your egg from coming out, right? If for any reason, if it comes out or given a cushion for it, sorry, to be very precise, right? If you gave a cushion with a cotton ball, ball right? Where now, you know, uh, while taking it out, the, the cotton ball comes out, it stays out. You cannot go put it back in. Uh, using a balloon, same thing, right? A balloon popped, a balloon, whatever reason, what happens to balloon, right? If it stays out, you cannot fix it. If the egg is intact, great, you can run their second ramp, no problems running the ramp, but that material cannot be put in back into the structure to rebuild it, uh, just for that clarification. Uh, the pine cards, yes, uh, I. Oh, uh, there are pine cars that you could get from the Olymp Science, oh, I mean, the Macomb Science Olympiad team, uh, or you can definitely go to this. Uh, I think, I believe this is where we go get the, uh, uh, you know, uh, basic kit, right? So, and there are tips for the ramps, right? Obviously, uh, we did clarify on the material, but, you know, how you build the ramp and, you know, uh, for the practice events and stuff, if you have it from previous, I would suggest if your uh, team is using it in the previous events, there is somewhere you can leverage those. Any questions there? Any any <coughs> the ramp set up to the lowest to the highest degree? Yes, absolutely. So it is set up, uh, and like I said, uh, the team will start from the lowest and goes to the highest, right? They may start at, let's say, 40 degree angle, right? At that point, if they successfully run, they will go to the next ramp at maybe 50, right? And the third ramp at 55 sequentially. But if you're running the ramp at 40 and it egg is broken, you cannot go to the second one because you don't have another egg to run with, right? So technically, you know, you, you end your... Uh, ramp or running the ramp on that first structure if the egg breaks on your first structure the great question uh any any other you're welcome brian uh there are quite a few of videos and i would highly encourage you uh look at some of these videos they are pretty uh pretty good to understand as to you know how the ramps how to run the ramp and build build a structure, right? Because uh, there are many ways to build a structure. So more practice, more uh, things you, you know, let the kids know that it's great. Uh, it's trying to see if there are anything else that you, and, and again, the ramp will look like this, right? And it will be at an angle and it will be pre remade. Uh, now, one of the things that I've seen the most happening uh, which I would highly advise you to do a lot during the practice is kids working together. Uh, when you come in to build a structure, what happens is technically, you know, yes, you, you, you practice with a lot of different materials, but you didn't expect, you know, cotton balls not to be there. Now you don't have it and then kids really get panicky and then they start to uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, not working together, right? So working together is a big, big piece here, and and that that's where this any situation they should be able to adapt and uh, basically get the structure built. Oh, I know we have passed our time here, but I am available and open uh, for any questions or uh, and anything that you guys may want to ask. You can come off mute or. Uh, you know, and feel free to ask, uh, you know. So I did have one question. So the car can be turned sure. upside down to get the egg out. Absolutely, absolutely. So the car, right? You can, uh, I mean, it's a pine car, right? So there is no kind of one way you have to build, right? Because both ways it's flat. So there's no, it, it, it's exactly this, right? So depends on which way you build it, right? Uh, you know, but when you say upside down is, uh, I, I see your point, right? So if I have this as my car and you have the egg here, right? You, you may want to just flip it down like this is what you're asking, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yes, correct. That's what I was asking. Absolutely can do that. Absolutely. Yep. It, Thank you. As far as the egg comes out without putting your hand in, you can take the egg out whichever way, you know, whichever, you know, kind of way you want to do it. No problem. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Uh, anybody else? If not, oh, feel free. If you think of anything, feel free to send questions via clarifications and we'll be happy to respond. Uh, but yep, looking forward to, thank you. Looking forward to your uh, participation and, uh, and, and an exciting year this year with the event. So thank you all and uh, appreciate your time here today.